let's take a look at how you can use Goal Seek in Google Sheets to solve for a target value of something. So here I'm going to try and solve for the target value of profit. So I want a certain profit level. Um, so I want to know how many units to produce. So here I have um, an example. Fixed costs are 100,000. Variable costs are $8 per unit price is $17.50 that we're charging. And over here, I have the equations. Profit equals the revenue minus the total variable cost minus the fixed cost. So the vari total variable cost is going to be the variable cost per unit, which in this case is $8, times the number of units we produce. The revenue is going to be the price times the amount we sell. And the profit, if we substitute these two into this equation, is going to be P times Q minus variable cost per unit times Q minus fixed cost. Now, we could actually solve this using some algebra, but if you had a more complicated equation, goal seek might be a, a useful way to do it. So here I'm going to put in a value. Actually, I'm going to put in the formula for profit. Profit is going to be equal to P times Q. Okay, we don't have anything there for Q yet. Minus variable cost per unit times Q minus fixed cost. And you can see we start 100,000 in the hole because we're not producing anything. So we want to use this, this uh, extension or this add-on called Goal Seek. If you don't happen to have it, you can go to Add ons, Get Add ons, and then just type in Goal Seek, and then you can install it. Okay, I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that. So, Extensions, it's installed now. Open, and let's see what we have here. So, it's going to tell us we want to set the cell where the formula is. So that's going to be right here and I'm just going to hit this capture the selected cell and I'm going to tell it the target value let's say we want it to be 250,000 and then we have to change the variable and we want to change Q. So again I'm going to hit this to lock that cell and then there's some options you have that you can change, uh, maximum iterations, tolerance level, stuff like that. I'm just going to leave those as they are. And I'm going to click Solve. And you'll watch it solve in real time. And it'll take a little while because it'll keep trying different values until it gets close. It keeps producing more and more and more. And it's looking and it's trying and it's still not there yet. Okay, it's getting close to 250,000. Okay, at some point, based on the tolerance we set, it will have solved it. And so, let me just uh, reduce the number of decimal places here so it's a little bit easier to read. So we essentially have to produce uh, 36,842 units to get $250,000 in profit. Let's see if that actually works. This is correct. So we're going to say P times Q minus the variable cost per unit times the number of units produced minus the fixed cost. And if we've done this correctly, we should get 250,000. And sure enough, we do. We could have solved this algebraically. You could simply add the fixed cost to both sides so you would have 350,000 and then you can factor out the Q so you would have price minus variable cost um, and you would divide that into the 350,000 and you should get 36,840211 but this is a nice way to do it and if you happen to have a, a more complicated set of equations here this may be the best way to do it.